Washington, the air was thick with tension in the marbled corridors of the Federal Reserve's headquarters this week as policymakers grappled with one of the most consequential economic crossroads in recent memory. On one side beckoned the siren song of aggressively lowering interest rates to buoy the resilient but battered American economy. On the other stood the forbidding reality that inflation, while moderating, remained stubbornly elevated. When the smoke cleared after their two-day policy meeting, members of the Federal Open Market Committee struck a carefully pragmatic tone, keeping their options open while making only modest revisions to their economic projections. They dialed back expectations for interest rate cuts this year from three to just one, according to the median forecast. But Fed Chair Jerome Powell was at pains to emphasize this represented a conservative approach amid considerable uncertainty. This anxious pragmatism reflects the Fed's continuing struggle to navigate between the scylla of reigniting inflationary spirals and the charybdis of snuffing out the economy's resilient expansion too abruptly. On one side loom the hawks who fear a premature relaxation of policy could undermine the progress made in taming price pressures that spiked so dauntingly in the wake of the pandemic's supply shocks. The evidence is pretty clear that policy is restricted and is having the effects that we would hope for, Powell intoned. But a vocal contingent of doves fears the Fed's aggressive rate hikes over the past 15 months risk overkill, imperiling the very economic momentum officials see as key to bringing inflation to heel without necessitating a severe recession. Eight of 18 officials now foresee two rate cuts this year, versus seven expecting just one, highlighting the committee's rising divide. In navigating these conflicting pressures, Powell demonstrated the profound modesty and restraint that had been hallmarks of his tenure at the Fed's helm. Adopting the stance of a judicious umpire, he played down the significance of the committee's fresh projections, noting most members likely failed to incorporate the latest benign inflation figures. The numbers showed the Fed's favored gauge of underlying price pressures cooled for a second straight month in May. At the same time, Powell acknowledged the staff analysis briefed to the committee assumed inflation would descend only gradually back towards the Fed's 2% target over several years. Reflecting that view, policymakers marked up their 2024 forecast for so-called core inflation to 2.8% from 2.6%. The Fed chair struck a similar balanced tone in assessing the broader economic outlook. On the bright side, he acknowledged resilient consumer spending, job growth, and business investment as welcome buffers undergirding demand. These persistent tailwinds help explain why officials nudged up their estimate of the economy's longer-run neutral interest rate to 2.8 percent. But Powell also cited lingering headwinds, from the waning effects of fiscal stimulus to continued strains in sectors like housing and manufacturing. We see the effects of our policies as working through pretty importantly on those sectors that are most interest rate sensitive, he said. The overarching impression was one of humble officials treading cautiously amid profound uncertainties over the staying power of the economy's momentum and the future path of price pressures. Chastened by their recent failure to foresee the outbreak of stubbornly high inflation, committee members seem eager to avoid overconfident pronouncements about the likely path ahead. As it weighs whether and when to ease monetary policy, the Fed seems to be caught between two poles, on one side stand the unrepentant economic optimists who see this year's stronger-than-expected growth validating their skepticism about aggressive tightening. Arrayed against them are the grimly determined inflation hawks who remain haunted by the specter of unmoored price pressures and insist any let-up risk squandering hard-won progress. For now, Powell is holding the committee to an uneasy middle ground as it awaits further clarity from the economic data. The median dot plot may point to just one rate cut this year. But in leaving the door open to two quarter-point reductions should conditions warrant, the Fed reinforces its determination to remain resolutely data-dependent. We'll go meeting by meeting and we'll take a look at the outlook again, the Fed chair vowed, channeling the committee's tangible anxiety over the daunting uncertainty that lies ahead. This anxious pragmatism, maintaining optionality while avoiding overconfident projections or dogmatic adherence to any rigid preset policy path, reflects the Fed's hard-won appreciation that the economy's dynamics have grown only murkier and more inscrutable in recent years. Gone are the halcyon days when the central bank could chart a straightforward course guided by cozy notions of the natural rate of unemployment or assumptions about productive capacity expanding at a predictable pace. 
Today's landscape is one of constant flux and jarring structural shifts, disrupting old models. From the precipitous decline of labor force participation to the digitization and dispersal of supply chains. As Powell acknowledged, policymakers must now navigate by constantly updating their understanding of the economy's potential speed limit, a pursuit fraught with uncertainty. The effects of demography, the effects of technology, and other supply side factors have become harder to understand, he conceded. For an institution that prides itself on maintaining credibility by confidently setting expectations, such pervasive ambiguity surrounding the fundamental forces driving inflation and growth can be profoundly unsettling. Yet the Fed's evident angst reflects a commendable openness to empiricism and repudiation of rigid ideology. In earlier eras, central bankers may have tried to impose their will on events, insisting their policy prescriptions would inevitably bend economic reality to their commands. The Fed's current anxious pragmatism evinces a more humble acceptance that policymakers' understanding of an ever-evolving economy remains provisional and imperfect. Avoiding overconfident impulses, Powell strives to maneuver cautiously within the straitjacketing constraints of today's opaque data flow. The spectacle of the world's most powerful central bank retaining maximum flexibility by declining to lock itself into a predetermined policy path is unlikely to satisfy those yearning for decisive, unhesitating leadership. But in an era of profound economic dislocation, it may be the most prudent approach. For Powell has absorbed the lessons of the past tumultuous years, from the scarring experience of the Fed's persistently over-optimistic inflation forecasts to the repeated confounding of economic models by unforeseen shocks. In the aftermath of COVID's shattering rupture, certainties have been shattered, replacing the old arrogance with a new humility. The Fed's anxious pragmatism arises from a chastening recognition that our economic destiny rests only partly in policymakers' hands. Despite its colossal influence over the finances of households and businesses worldwide, the central bank is no longer master of the universe. Rather, it humbly embraces its role as a reactive force, prudently calibrating its policy stance in hopes of encouraging the economy's evolution along a sustainable path, but with the wisdom to defer to the ultimate verdict of forces beyond its control. In prior eras, the Fed may have vainly aspired to dominion over events through sheer willpower and policy audacity. Today, its watchwords are prudence, optionality, and sober restraint. This is an institution humbled by hard experience into a respectful posture of patience and attentiveness to how the sands continually shift beneath its feet. Ideological zealotry and arrogance have been traded for anxiety and a pragmatic flexibility to coexist with realities it can hope to influence but never fully command. So continues the delicate dance as the Fed's governing council gingerly probes for clues while scrupulously avoiding bold wagers or rash prognostications about the path ahead. For today's central bankers, the only certainty in these unsettled times is doubt and deference to an economic reality always threatening to defy predictions in surprising, unsettling ways. Their pragmatic anxiety reflects a new sensibility, caution born of a chastening awareness of the economy's unruly complexities. The coming months and years promise only more such anxious pragmatism as the Fed resigns itself to groping through the fog, prudently adjusting course as the still-obscured terrain slowly resolves into view. It's a posture befitting an institution whose hard-won restraint arises from repeated, humbling reminders that the modern economy retains mysteries that yield only gradually to rigorous empirical inquiry, and that can never be mastered, only navigated with patience and judicious flexibility.